Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. In this video, we are going to learn how to create user and provide permissions by using MySQL Workbench. Let's uh, go to the Workbench and here we have created multiple connections to different to MySQL server. I'm going to connect with one of the MySQL server that I have installed on Linux. Okay, here we have different databases, TBIT, Tech Brothers IT and a couple more. Now what we need to do, we need to create our user and we would need to provide some specific permissions. So here you have a user and privilege tab. So once you click there, you can see the current users. So in this case, we had a DBA user that was able to connect from this Windows machine to this Linux machine. So we have provided the IP of this Windows machine where our workbench is installed. So our DBA user can only connect from this IP to the MySQL server that's on our Linux box. Okay, good. Now next part what we need to do here, we need to create a new user. Maybe we call it a junior DBA and we provide them some permission. So let's say junior DBA and uh, what type of authentication? Okay, page standard is fine like a password and from which machine they, this uh, user will be able to connect. In this case, I would like to connect uh, this only from this machine where, where I'm working right now. So if I will do IP config, it will show me the IP of this machine. Um, so it is a uh, 10.0.5. That's the IP of this uh, Windows machine where we have installed Workbench. So I want my junior DBS to remote to this machine, Windows machine, then uh, connect to the uh, my SQL server that's installed on uh, this uh, different uh, node, uh, that's a Linux node. Okay, if I will uh, exit from here, if I will see, if you will see the IP of this machine, that's a totally different IP, so it's a 10.0.10. .10, uh, so that's where we have installed the uh, MySQL. Okay, good, we are gonna provide the IP. So this uh, kind of gives you some extra security. So first of all, your user has to log in with your Windows authentication, whatever, and to your local computer, uh, that's a Windows machine, by using the uh, Active Directory authentication. And once uh, they log into that, then uh, they, they can log into the uh, MySQL server by using Workbench only from that IP. Okay, provide the password. I'm gonna go ahead and provide the password. Okay, provide, retype the password. So just to confirm. Okay, good. Now, account limits. Um, now, what uh, you want to do, let's say some of you have developer uh, account or DBS account and you want to restrict their uh, um, running queries, uh, max queries they can run in an, um, in an hour, maybe 100 queries is fine with juniors. You don't want them to run all those queries all the time. Uh, max updates, uh, number of updates the account can execute in an hour. You can maybe have a 200, whatever. So you can um, and the connection number of connection they can um, per, uh, have a per hour in uh, to the server um, and the concurrent uh, connections. Uh, so how many concurrent connections this uh, user can have? Uh, so you can restrict that permissions uh, here. Okay. Now administrative rules. Uh, so if uh, this is a junior DBA, you want to maybe provide him uh, all the rules uh, with the DBAs. Uh, so maybe grant everything. Um, okay. But if you want to restrict him, maybe you want to give him some uh, little bit, uh, uh, some permission, maybe for backups, maybe you want to give him a uh, monitoring and uh, maybe just a DB management, uh, grant full grants on all databases. Okay, fine. Uh, you go to the schema privileges uh, and then here, maybe you would like to give him on uh, some specific uh, databases, uh, maybe on uh, TBIT. Okay, fine, hit OK. And now you have all those permission on the database level, uh, select, update, delete, insert. Uh, so you can select whatever you want to select um, and uh, create an uh, alter. I'm, I'm just clicking everything. Uh, so if you notice that uh, my goal is not to restrict only one or two permission. What I'm trying to show you here, uh, you have a different uh, level of uh, control on when you're creating the user. So you create a user, then you have uh, account limits. Then if you do that's a part of uh, administrative uh, roles, uh, that's like a DBA or some uh, super user that you have, then you can provide some permission from here. If it's uh, just a developer, you don't need to provide any permission from here. So you can provide your own permissions on specific databases. Uh, so it is all your choice, whatever you need to provide to that uh, person, um, okay? So we will say apply. The password does not match, okay? So maybe I just uh, miss uh, uh, typed. Let me see. So I'm gonna 
uh, we type the password okay and hit apply uh, access denied so it is an um, create uh, creating user junior dba 10.0.0.5 access denied for dba user and uh, uh, even uh, using password yes okay so even the user dba because i am logged in as a dba user i do not have even permission to create these uh, users that's why uh, it gave me the uh, error so what i have to do i have to log in uh, uh, maybe go back here in the home page and uh, maybe edit my permission edit connection and then i will connect uh, by using a root uh, okay so once i will be connected by the root then i will have permission or i will ask the root uh, to provide the permission and to the dba so the dbas can do everything um, so that account can create anything but you got the idea you will be connecting to the um, connection manager there and then you go to the user and privileges uh, and uh, if you have the permission to create the user then you will be able to create it uh, in the, this scenario like we didn't have permission to create uh, um, the account uh, so that's why we were getting error but if you have that uh, permission you should be all good thanks very much for watching this video and i will see you guys uh, in next video